go to LA. Let's do a fit check. We've got the iconic IMG of velour suit. That's rhinestone. It's so comfy. Got her an extra small. Makes the booty look delish. Of course, the Prada Leo, which is what I also named my car. We've got earrings from random brands that I don't know anymore. Literally, I have no idea, I can't remember. We got a claw clip in, how to do the slick bun. You guys know I love doing that for um, the airport. And then my little Chanel dad sandals, but so excited. The chauffeur is on the way and I have no idea what's going on. Apparently, I'm flying into LAX, but then after that, I will fly to another secret place. Like, it's called Dutopia. And they created this whole land, and like, they're not telling anyone about it, but we're going like on a plane to get there. So, it's a surprise. I messaged another girl about it, and she has no idea what's going on. So, I'm very excited. I don't know anyone either, so I'm like scared, but it's also cool because then I get to meet like new girls and other girls that are content creators because I haven't really like put myself out there. I'm very socially awkward, um, and I'm a little jaded from some past friendships that kind of like burned to the ground so it's a little scary but um i'm excited so yay we made it so i already made a mess i've been hanging out on the bed for a while now i've been answering some questions on my instagram stories about sex relationships and body positivity um and it's been it's been very interesting um very spicy questions hi i should really shower but i forgot my hair straightener so <laughs> i don't know what to do my options are put my hair in a bun, or like I do now, or, oh my God, I don't wanna do that. Or go buy hair straightener, use it, and then return it. I don't really wanna buy one, cause like, I mean, I guess I could buy one, but oh, it's just like an expense. But wow, look at the tiling in the shower. I love hotel bathrooms, guys. Like, I can really appreciate this beautiful marble, and wow, this metallic tile, very, very cool. Got the waterfall shower head, yum. Um, okay, so yeah, this is the room. And um, I really need to like start getting ready. The And I still need to go buy a straightener. Oh, I really don't wanna do that, but I have to do that. We're taking a private jet, guys. I've never been on a private jet. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go figure that out now. I'm not gonna bring you guys with me because that's just a whole ordeal to vlog and I'm all over the place. So I'm gonna go find a straightener and um, I'll see you when we start getting ready. Okay, before I go, here is a fit check. We've got these circus heels by Sam Edelman. The set by Source Unknown. Let's go. And you know. Leo, of course. Hi, we, we, <laughs> I mean, yeah, us. We went to Target, duh. Went to Target, found a straightener. It's a simple Con Air for $25. Um, probably just gonna return it at the Target at home. We cracked open a little mojito. This is 9% alcohol in this little baby can. Five drinks, Co. Mojito, and, and it contains rum, passion fruit, mint, cane sugar, and a carbonated water. And tastes delicious. Doesn't even taste like alcohol. It's my favorite kind of alcohol. Um, and this is so gross, guys. Since I had that thing open, there was a fly in here in the bathroom. And I saw it land. And, like, my gut reaction or, like, my whatever. My reaction was to, like, smack it and kill it. Which I don't know why. Because I actually killed it. It was so gross. I literally looked at the fly on my hand and I was just like, Bleh. whatever. But... I washed it down the sink and it's fine. It's just kind of iffy. But just showered in the amazing shower. It was so steamy in there. And this robe is so nice. This is the nicest hotel robe I've ever put on my body. It feels like a plush blanket on the inside. Thank you, Ole Henriksen. Y'all are the bomb. I'm cozy. We're gonna get ready soon. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry or towel dry. And probably just gonna sit on my phone some more until the event. Okay, I forgot to show you guys. I got snacks. I wanna try this pickle. 
because they only have like sweet cut up ones and I wish they had cut up like a salty one but it's fine then um, I'm really craving something salty um, so of course I had to get cheese I love charcuterie boards so this is a good fix I love hot Cheetos had to get limon um, I got a regular bag at the airport in Phoenix because they didn't have limon and then of course fruit snacks pickle tasting first impressions It's one whole pickle. That's a good fucking pickle. When it makes your face do that, it's a good pickle. That's a good pickle. Just started getting ready. I'm about to start blow drying my hair. Um, I just applied this banana bright eye cream by ole henriksen my camera's not focusing on it but this is a banana bright eye cream they also have a bigger moisturizer that i really wanted to bring but i couldn't because i didn't want to get it taken away at tsa but i love this eye cream ride or die love ole henriksen then we're also applying sunscreen i'm using the tula skincare Sunscreen, you guys know I love this one. No white cast, moisturizing, um, smells really good. And these two together are just an unstoppable cause. I kind of cut down on moisturizer as much as I used to. I used to do it like three times a day sometimes, and now I do it like every other day. So it's kind of fine that I forgot the Ole Henriksen moisturizer. But um, yeah, we're gonna start getting ready. I'm gonna blow dry my hair. And we don't have that much time, so I kind of got to kick into high gear. Okay, guys, here's the final outfit. We've got this set from Source Unknown. What's in my pocket? Oh, my mask. All right, and then this is a top from Fashion Nova. It was part of a dress, but we're just going to throw it as a bandeau. And we're wearing these Ego Official shoes. There's some Bottega dupes. We've got the real Fendi. This ring is from uh, Strung by Stro. My bracelets are Lisa Goslin, and I don't know where this little pearl necklace is from. But this is how I ended up doing my makeup. Ooh, I randomly decided to do blue. Hopefully I don't look like crazy. Um, I kind of like it. So um, my Uber's 15 minutes away. I'm kind of afraid I'm not going to make it but the plane doesn't leave until 7.30, so should be okay. I'm not gonna bring my camera. I'm just gonna shoot on my phone, so if the quality sucks, sorry, but I wanna have fun, live in the moment. I don't wanna have to hold the camera. Love y'all. Ryan Little. <laughs> fit check we're in the Prada Sunnies I don't know where this necklace is from it was a gift Lisa Goslin bracelets per usual we've got my Prada Cleo this is the perfect size for traveling it is the best bag other than that I think it's a little too big but I love it for traveling and I look like a bad bitch uh, we've got this set from Revolve you guys have seen this many times she's so comfortable and I love her a lot that's what I love about Revolve like yes it is really expensive I will admit Revolve is incredibly expensive but their stuff is long-lasting and I feel like when you go on there you're just like wait why would i spend this much money on like a cardigan but then when i have it i'm like this cardigan is very simple but it does last a long time and i could wear it over and over again without people really noticing as opposed to buying uh, like a really bright pink printed floral 
mini dress from Jaded London or like some other brand, you know, you can only wear it a few times because it's so recognizable. And don't get me wrong, I fucking love Jaded London, but I think that's where you have to sacrifice for the price point where you're like, well, if I pay this much, I could wear it so many other times. So just the thing to think about, but um, this tank top is from Meshki. I wore this on the flight here and it's very comfy. Not very thick. Thicker than your usual wife beater, but you can still see my nips a little. Um, we're gonna go hang out at the pool with the girls before I leave. I didn't know I was leaving this early. You know, I had to, I keep that motherfucking thing on me. Also, everybody thinks I should start a podcast um, from all my advice and my Q&As, and fuck it, I'm going to.